546 this morning and new this morning, we are taking a look at how a non-traditional approach to suicide prevention is saving lives. When you think about teenagers opening up to a counselor, you expect them to be in a standard office, right? Not anymore. 41 Action News reporter Charlie Keegan found out why a Lee's Summit Mental Health Center is changing that stereotype. Charlie. Richard, Rediscover, the counselors from Rediscover meet their clients in coffee shops or little cafes, something like this. They say that this is a familiar setting for teenagers to open up and start talking about suicide. Those counselors also use social media and cell phones to reach out to these young people and reach them in their comfort zone. We sat down with Kirsty Olson, who runs a program, uh, Show Me Zero Youth Suicide. It provides life skills courses for teenagers to help them find a purpose uh, and, 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 and persuade them against committing suicide. This program is so vital because Kirstie told me that there are between nine weeks and nine months oftentimes a waiting period for a person to connect with long-term care after a school or hospital refers them to get more care. So now Rediscover Mental Health steps in to help those families during that waiting period. I feel like we don't really tire because we have that motivation. We see those success stories. We see people doing well. Um, and it kind of fills your happy bucket back up with, okay, this is why I do this. And so far, counselors with Rediscover have helped more than 180 patients and young people by meeting them in, in situations just like this. They say they have room for more and their services are all free. Of course, suicide has become a hot topic, a big uh, uh, dis point of discussion in our community lately. Coming up all new at 6 o'clock. During our 6 o'clock hour, I'll sit down for a conversation with the director of a new documentary, hoping to break the silence surrounding suicide. Back to you. An important conversation. Charlie, thank you.